Welcome back. It's Mike. It is the week of October 8th through 14th. And of course, a lot of you are with me right now in Miami Beach at the Superstar Retreat at this magnificent Lowe's Hotel. For those of you that are not with us at the retreat this week, I hope you're doing your homework and doing your prospecting. By the way, how did you do last week? Or did you do last week? Did you wait for this week to try to do the work I asked you to do last week? Remember last week I said, watch, don't download the 2013 business plan. Download the daily tracking forms, download the scripts, and then download the How to Learn Your Scripts and Dialogues audio. Have you done it? Have you listened to it? Have you tried? What are you afraid of? See, there's nothing to be afraid of because when you understand prospecting, you know that it's all about you doing your job to improve the quality of your business. So let's look at week number two, 100 Thoughts on Prospecting a Lead Follow-Up. Last week we covered points one through seven. Today we're gonna cover points eight through 13. Eight through 14, excuse me. Let me go to point eight. Now listen carefully. The real estate business that you're involved in, now let's stop on that word, business. Here's what's interesting. Your buyers and your sellers actually believe you're involved in a sales business. Unfortunately, most real estate people think they're just simply realtors out running around showing property to buyers. You're involved in a business, and in a business, there are always certain things that have to be said, certain things that have to be done for that business to grow, move forward, and in today's market, survive. So in the real estate business, we can divide it into four basic parts in the area of prospecting lead follow-up. A is prospect every day. B, do lead follow-up on hot leads every day. C, attempt and you should be able to go on a listing presentation every day, and then denegotiate contracts on those listings of yours that have sold. So if we look at prospect lead follow-up, presentations, and negotiating, which of those four is the biggest problem for you? Where do you have the most challenges? Where, where is your hang-up in those four? See, if you look at all the great people, like this week at the retreat, you know, we have a couple thousand people here, and we have four or five hundred outstanding superstar professional agents in the audience. And if you look at the people that are highly successful, they have developed the ability to see where their weaknesses are, conquer those weaknesses, and move forward. Is your weakness prospecting every day? Doing lead follow-up. What are you afraid of in lead follow-up? Is your weakness going on a presentation? And is your weakness because you don't know what to say? is your weakness to go to negotiating a contract. See, once you identify where your weakness is, you can do something about learning to overcome that weakness. But if we look at the business, last week I said prospect, present, and close. Prospect, present, and close. This week I'm saying expand it, prospect, lead, follow up, present, negotiate. And each week we're gonna expand what it is you have to know, what it is you have to do to grow and be a professional salesperson. So, point eight, the business can be divided into four parts, and those are prospect daily, lead follow-up on the hot leads, listing presentations. What if you went on one listing presentation per day? Well, how about this? What if you went on one a week? See, most people don't go on any per month, but if we focus on prospecting lead follow-up, we'll develop the presentations, and then because they're going to sell, we focus on negotiating. Point number nine. While prospecting, you should keep daily, keep track of daily, the following. Keep track of, and I want you to think about this, the number of attempts. How many times did you dial the phone? How many doors did you knock on? Okay, how many times did you make some kind of an attempt to talk to somebody? How many attempts? Keep track of those. How many contacts did you make every single day? How many leads have you generated per day? And how many appointments did you actually set? When I first went into real estate, and I, I always kid about the fact it was 100 years ago, the broker I worked for just simply said, you're going to track these numbers every day. So because the broker, in my opinion, was my boss, I actually didn't understand the concept of being independent contractors like so many of you have drilled into your heads, which is, by the way, the reason why you don't succeed, because until you have a boss besides the guy in the mirror, it's hard to take and do what you have to do. So my boss said, Track your attempts. So I would go out and knock on doors every day. And I would try to knock on 50, 75, 100 a day. 
How many contacts did you actually make? And you know, you can make 10, 20, 30, 50 contacts a day. How many leads? Because you know, if you're using the scripts, have a little bit of energy, a smile on your face, you're dressed reasonably nice, you're gonna generate leads every single day. And then, did you generate any appointments? See, guys and gals, the truth is, you could generate two or three, four appointments every single week if you worked at generating appointments every single week. You know it can happen. You know you can do it. The question is that you're going to. So, point number nine, while prospecting, keep track. Now, you've already downloaded the forms to keep track. You know what you have in front of you. Let's keep track of our contacts, our number of leads, our appointments based on our attempts. Point number 10, we have to specialize in the following prospecting techniques for the next 90 days. We're in week two, okay? It's only a 12-week program we have for you, 11 weeks to go. And I wrote down A, expired listings either in person or on the phone. You have to do that because the expired listings need you. They need a professional salesperson. They've already had one person that couldn't do the job. The expired needs a good person, either on the phone or at the door. Cold calling around your expireds, okay, that you're contacting. So I contact this expired and I knock on 10 doors on each side, 10 across the street, or I call 10 on each side. Why? Because the more exposure you have, better chance you have. For sale by owners, in person or on the phone, and then working the doors and phones around the for sale by owner. See, I, I made it a very simple point. I would take and knock on a by owner's door, and if they were home, I had a script to follow like you have. I would try to get an appointment set, and if I could or could not, I would knock on 10 doors on each side, trying to find a buyer for that particular by owner to get that sign out of the neighborhood to replace it with a sign of my own. I would knock on 10 or 15 doors across the street. See, one by owner was good for 20 to 40 doors. One expired, good for 20 to 40 doors. And the truth is, that's only gonna take you 30, 40 minutes to do it. Here's a question. What else do you have to do with your time besides talk to people? Now I know you're, you're tweeting and you're texting and you're blogging and you're emailing and you're hiding in your office because you don't like to talk to people. Hey, get over yourself and get out and talk to people. We are in the people and communication business. That's the business we're in. And by owners and expireds are people that need your help. I wrote down B, your referrals, which are people that you've determined are going to do something because they've been referred to you. You always need to be looking for and working referrals. Just listed and just sold. Obviously, past clients, centers of influence. Cold doors and cold telephones. Dialing for dollars, knocking on doors. You see, the truth is, if you get yourself physically into motion, somebody said one time, once a body gets in motion, it remains in motion until acted upon by an outside force. There's no outside force that's gonna stop you. There's nobody trying to keep you from doing your job. So watch, keep track of your attempts, your contacts, your leads and appointments, and then go out and talk to by owners and expireds and the doors all around them. Work the center of influences for referrals, just listed, just sold, past clients, cold doors, cold phones. You can make this fun. And if you do a little bit of everything every day, it is a lot of fun. Point number 11, monitor the results of your prospecting for the next 90 days to determine where your business comes from. See, if you're gonna track like we've asked you to do, and you can use the daily tracking form, you'll see, are you getting a better response now from past clients, expireds, just listed? Where, where is your response? Where are the leads coming from? Because one of the things that all the great agents do is they're always tracking where their business comes from. And the reason for that, of course, is they want to be able to go back and duplicate that activity time and time again. You have trends where you're really successful. You have points where you're not doing as well as you want. You look for those ups and downs by tracking what you do. Point number 12, critical point. Remember, prospecting today is a future listing appointment for you. I, I guess I can't stress enough. You and I both know, and we'll talk about this more later as the weeks progress, you would never, never miss a listing appointment. But then why would you miss a prospecting appointment? See, prospecting today is your business income listing contract future. What you do today brings you business, some cases today, 
obviously this week, the next week, and in the beyond. So therefore, it's, you have to remember that prospecting is a future listing appointment. If you go into every day saying to yourself, what I do today is going to give me a check 30, 60, 90, 120 days out, then you can get excited about today. And then, of course, I wrote down point number 13. You really don't have a business. And don't kid yourself. You don't have a business unless you're good at prospecting. No, you don't have a business. I mean, I guess if I could sit with each one of you and look you in the eye and virtually grab your hand and say to you, listen to me, quit listening to the people that tell you you don't have to work and you don't have to prospect to make money in real estate. I've been doing this 37 years. We have virtually tens of thousands of the most successful agents in North America that follow the Mike Ferry sales system. They're the ones that are listing and selling all the properties around you today. And they will all tell you the same thing. Don't listen to the people that are going to feed you the magic answer, magic bullet, magic formula, magic wand, because those things don't work. Do you know how many people I have seen come and go because they couldn't figure out how to work? Do you know how many tens of thousands I've seen fail because they keep looking for the magic bullet? Do you know how many tens of, not hundreds of thousands I've seen never make a living because they won't understand the value of prospecting? Point number 14, work your day and your schedule around your prospecting and nothing else. See, it is, watch, prospect, present, and close. Prospect, lead, follow-up. Presentations, negotiate contracts. It doesn't matter how we state it, prospecting is always at the top of the list. So your day has to revolve around your ability to prospect. Your day has to revolve around. Now, I know what you're going to say. Mike, I don't like prospecting. Hey, tell somebody that cares, because I don't care. Watch, there's days I don't feel like talking to you, like I'm talking to you today, but this is my job. Go to a seller and tell them you're going to get the home sold. What are you going to tell them? I'm going to sit in the office and I'm going to blog about your home to try to get it sold? Come on, give me a break here. You're going to get that home sold because you're talking to people. So here's your homework for today. Continue to prospect at least two hours a day for the next five days. I want you to call your centers of influence. Make at least 20 just listed, just sold contacts per day. Call them and go see them. Now let me, let me say it again. Continue to prospect this week two hours per day. Track your numbers, of course. I want you to call your centers of influence and make at least 20 just listed, just sold contacts per day. Call them and go see them. Second, remember it's a habit. Develop the habit of tracking your numbers. You win a complimentary ticket to the 101 retreat if you log your numbers for the entire 90 days we're together. And a reminder, keep studying the pre-qualifying and listing presentation script because guess what's going to happen? You're going to have presentations coming up in the next week to 10 days because you're doing your job, because you're a professional, because you're a salesperson, and we're here to support that. Look forward to talking to you next week from Italy on week number three.